kinagagalak ko and I'm very happy for being invited today in this um, August body because it will shed light on many questions. Ang sa amin lang po, the decision was made by the Department of Health as an institutional decision, hindi lang po sa isang tao, sa isang grupo. Ito po ay dikadikadang pinag-usapan. The desire to cure dengue, the desire to minimize patients infected with dengue is there as a prerogative of the Department of Health. Ang dami nga pong nagtatanong, minadali po ba ito? Let, let me go back to the integrity management report of the Department of Health, which says it all. Hindi po ito minadali. There was no undue haste. No corruption is involved here. Though we admit it was not bidded by the Department of Health, it was bidded by the Philippine Children's Medical Center because they were the ones who were chosen as the implementer of this program. Let me categorically say that based on my personal knowledge and in the one and a half years that I've been working with them, I have never heard any question of integrity with regards to people and officials at PCMC. Yeah. Ang totoo po yun, na nung una, nung tinanong ako, kasi biglaan siya, ang sinabi ko, mukhang wala akong natatandaan, but I went to Lyon. Yun ang sinabi ko. The factory that the vaccines were being produced, um, before kasi dumaan ng Lyon, dumudaan ng Paris. But that was not the sole intention of the trip. Dumaan pa po kami sa maraming lugar because the primary intention was to discuss our problem on arsenic contamination in uh, Region 3. At um, along the way nga, papunta sa World Health Assembly, dahil nakikiusap kami sa Sanofi na tumulo at no cost to the government, na paanda rin yung mga vaccine manufacturing plant in RIPM. Dagdag pa dito, sa public-private partnership na iniwan po sa akin ni Secretary Juan at ni Yusek Herbosa, ando dun po yung maraming proposal at meron na nga pong napid na mga equipment for vaccine production. And they were trying to explain to me why it's not really that feasible comparing Lyon, the city of Paris, and the city of Manila. Balik po tayo. Kung may mali siya po doon sa dinner, bakit po all throughout kung sa biyahe, kasama namin ang representatives ng Department of Foreign Affairs at kasama rin po natin yung ibang mga opisyalas ng Department of Health. It was very clear in the meeting that yes, they revealed the price to us, similar to how they revealed it also to other countries. When I suggested that they float it out in the private market because at that point of time, wala pong fondo sa internal savings ng Department of Health ang pwede ibili ng bakuna at medyo mataas pa po ang presyo na pinigay nila during that time. Kaya nga po, maganda nga po na naimbestigan ito. Because the documents will show that this is a long process. Talks have started in 2010, pinaigting ito noong 2012. Brazil purchased their dengue vaccine at $30 per dose. Wala pa silang VAT. The Philippines purchased the vaccine at $20 per dose. May VAT pa yan. Wala po itong korupsyon. Wala po itong hinahangad na pagmamadali dahil matagal na pong pinag-uusapan ang problema ng dengue. Yung nais lang naman ng departamento, hindi lang po naman DOH at Pilipinas ang gumagawa nito dahil yung planong supoy ng dengue is part of the long-term plan of affected countries. In fact, in 2010 and 2012, ando dun po sa pipeline ng WHO ang sinasabi nilang future vaccine implementation and that was way back in 2012. <laughs> No, I think, let, let me go back to the records. I think 2016 yung procurement. Kasi savings siya eh, last minute ng 2015 dahil hindi na magagamit yung pera. So na procurement 2016, pero meron bang recommendation? No, let me categorically state na kasi nagkakaproblema kasi sa terminologies. Ang WHO kasi cannot interfere with any country decision. Kaya hindi sila nagre-recommend it but then they will issue guidelines by which governments abide. So, linawin po natin, hindi sila nagre-recommenda, pero sinasabi nila kung ito ba ipwede at ito ba kailangan, ano yung mga guidelines para ipatupad yung ito. Um, the issue on hindi siya kasama sa National Immunization Program, dahil naman po ang pinag-uusapan usually ng WHO is the whole world. 
Dengue is not a disease that affects all countries. It's just on selected countries. Pero pinaka maigting siya, pinaka malaking problema siya dito sa Pilipinas. It's not a midnight deal. Everything was above board. The integrity management committee report of the DOH will show that. In ulit, yeah, I, I, the the report is there. In ulit ulit kupunga, no? Nakakasakit para sa mga nagprocure nito, the people and officials of the Philippine Children's Medical Center. Dahil hindi lang po dengue ang kanilang hinahawakan. Sila po ang tumatanggap ng mga komplikasyon ng sakit ng bata, especially cancer for children. In my one and a half years of being with the department, and in the nine years that I was with Congress, I have never heard of any question of integrity involving PCMC officials. Yeah, we, we are willing to distribute the integrity report. Hindi po totoo yan. Kasi kung walang FEC exemption, hindi yan mabibili. Let me categorically state no, na namamalisyahan yung exemption. Hindi lang po dengue ang nagkaroon ng exemption. No, in I'm not sure. No? Let me review the records in the department. Sa pagkakaalam ko, rabies meron din. Yung ating polio. Nung nakitaan na yung ating ginagamit na polio, yung oral, ay eh nagkakaroon ng posibleng komplikasyon in the long term, we had to shift from I to IPV, yung ini-injection. And this was, I think, the program that I launched with Secretary Ona in 2014. Yun rin po, nung una, wala nga pong exemption. Hinihian natin ang exemption yung oral. Ma'am, mas Delikado siyang gamitin sa hindi pa nagkakadeng. Pardon me, pardon me. Mas po ba noon na delikado siyang gamitin sa hindi pa nagkakadeng? Yung issue na yan, ilang beses po namin tinanong in WHO Geneva, ilang beses rin po tinanong ng mga internal and external experts and societies. Ano no, nang, uh, ang sinabi nila hindi. Ang uh, unang-una, ito lang po no. When a vaccine or a drug is licensed by the FDA, ang ibig po sabihin doon is safe para sa ating mga kabataan o sa ating mga pasyente. Hindi naman po pwedeng sabihin safe para sa mga mayayaman, hindi safe para sa mahihirap. In fact, kaya nga po nananawagan talaga kami na hintayin natin ang sasabihin ng ating mga eksperto sa WHO sa Geneva through the Strategic Advisory Group on Experts dahil baka kasi pinangungunahan natin, pakinggan natin yung totoong eksperto including international experts and let us start from there. Nakakapagdagdag ko lang, no? Kung pwede natin isipin, lahat po ng bakuna na ginagamit sa buong mundo, I'm, I'm not sure if my statistics will prove this, pero lahat ng bakuna binibigay natin sa mga pasyente hindi pa nagkakasakit. Wala tayong bakuna na binibigay sa pasyente nagkakasakit na on a general basis. Ito ay baliktad. Sinasabing ibibigay mo kung nagkasakit ka na at hindi mo ibibigay kung hindi ka pa nagkasakit. The FEC did not recommend mass use of the vaccine. But you let me let me check the records and let me talk with the program managers because all actions that we did was an institutional decision. Lahat po nang dumarating sa akin. Yung FEC is a body, but as a body, they usually seek the inputs of experts and the program officers. At the end po kasi ang nag- Pasensya na po talaga, baka mapagalay sa time. Pero can you say na hindi po We'll continue later. Pero can you say na hindi pagkakamali yung pagkakamali? We decided based on the data available at the time and in our desire na sugpuin ang problema ng dengue. Thank you.